Bowman here from BW1.com. I'm gonna give you my review of the Evil View 4G tablet. Now, this is a pretty cool tablet on Sprint's network and it has some pretty unique features to it. We'll start off with the hardware tour. It has a seven inch display. Right next to that is a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. On the bottom, you have your micro USB port for charging and syncing. On the top, you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and power button. On the side, you have your volume buttons. And here on the back, you have your stereo speakers and a, a 5 megapixel rear facing camera with 720p video recording. They uploaded some test video and pictures as well. It's pretty standard quality. You can definitely check that out in our written review. And the link is in the description for that. And we'll slide this little piece up here, which isn't the easiest to slide up. Slide there. This is where you can find the micro SD card slot, which you can add expandable storage to it. Currently, you have about 8 gigabytes available to you on board. And that's pretty much it for sort of the external hardware. Internally, it comes with a single core 1.5 gigahertz processor. Like I said, it has about 8 gigabytes of so storage available for you to use. It has a um, has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and it obviously has a GPS and a 4G radio inside it, inside of it via WiMAX on Sprint Network. Now, we'll take a look here at the software, which it actually runs Android 2.3 Gingerbread with HTC Sense 3.0 on top of it. And this is where it gets really interesting. You can see it has um, the same thing that we saw in EVO 3D with the uh, shortcut icon so you can just kind of drop it right into that ring to go to that specific application quickly. And it has the option to choose the lock screen to have a uh, weather widget and stuff like that which is pretty cool. Slide it open it up here. There you go and you can sort of hear how good the speakers sound on here. We'll definitely check that out when we check out HTC Watch. Now you have this pretty much the same similar interface. You have the multiple desktops. You have about seven, and you can do the little 3D carousel effect. If you hit home, pops up. Oh, actually, it um, tap there, and you can choose and select which one you want to go to from the from the uh, different home screens. There, you have about eight of them to choose from. Tap on there, swipe at the top. You have your notification section. You have the, um, right up here at the top is where your most recent used applications, notifications will show up here. Go to quick settings, this is where you can choose your auto brightness, rotation, Wi-Fi, hotspot, mobile network, 4G, and Bluetooth settings right there. Let's swipe that back up. And then here at the bottom, you have some unique stuff. You have your menu key. Then you have notes for, uh, notes for when you want to write with the pen stylus, which I'll show you how that pen input works. And it can sync with Evernote. You have the reader and you have the watch. Let's uh, take a look at watch real quick. This is HTC Watch. It's basically you can watch movie trailers and videos and stuff directly from this application. All right, let's see, it sets up watch there, loading library, there we go. And we'll have a few um, preloaded uh, trailers. Start off with the Green Hornet. Let's watch it there. You see the picture quality and image quality is really good here on the screen. And audio quality is excellent too. You can turn SOS enhancement on to make the quality even better. We'll pause there. You can actually uh, maximize the full screen to best fit. You have the little track there as well to the tracker to go to a specific spot in the video. Really cool. You can see the quality image quality looks pretty good in there. I would say at, at certain angles, with, with, like, like with most LCD screens, you're gonna sort of have a wash out just a little bit there. So you want to definitely keep it head on. And we'll hit home there. And as you see, I have it rotating now. Now I have it in landscape mode. You can see that the home menu and back back uh, buttons here are on the um, side, and when you rotate in the portrait mode, those same buttons will show up here on this side as well too. And you have the pen button as well, the HTC Scribe button, which we'll get dive into that when we take a look at the notes, which we'll look at right now. We'll open the notes application, and this is where the Scribe pen, which uh, I think is sometimes it's sold separately or will be uh, bundled in with it depending on which one you go with. Now you do have the standard keyboard which you can use. You can do the thumb keyboarding if you want to as well. The same HTC keyboard that we've um, come accustomed to. Then you have the Scribe pen which gives you the option right here to choose, to pretty much choose sort of how you want to write. So you want to write with a pen, we can do that. And let's say you want to write in red, we can do that. and. And we can kind of just kind of draw there. Just kind of just ran, random like that. And you can see it's pretty accurate there for the most part and kind of fun to use. And this application lets you do different things. You can, um, you can go back here, 
change the change the different um, sizes and stuff as well too. And you go real small if you want to. And then these these um, buttons on here actually let allow you to do different things as well too. The bottom button, if you actually hit and hold that, will let you go back and erase like that as well. And erases like that. And we'll choose a different tip. We'll choose a we can choose a bigger tip if we want to. We can hide everything we did. We can have it show. We can go back to undo some things that we did, like that. And go to the highlighter. You can choose brush there. You can see it's all all sorts of different things you can do with this particular application and this pen. It's really useful stuff. Now you can see there. So you draw. And you can do that on the notes. You can even self voice note if you want to in this application. You can do that on pictures as well too. Because when you actually uh, tap the stylus on on the desktop here, should there we go. Takes a screenshot. You can share it, save it, print it, whatever whatever you want to do with it. You can do that in portrait or landscape mode. All right, here and let's go to the reader. And you can see the reader here. It's um, you have some pre-installed books. Let's go to a tale of two cities. Charles Dickens, and you can just swipe, go between pages like that. And let's say you find something interesting that you want to keep a make a note of within here. Now, let's say you want to highlight this sentence. Now, the bottom button, if you hold that down, it allows you to highlight anything that you've um, written or seen on that particular page or on a web page or anything like that. Let's you highlight it like that. So that's another way that it becomes useful as well too. And you tap on to tap on like that to bookmark that page. As far as uh, as far as applications are concerned, you have um, pretty standard stuff you normally see in HTC Sense. You have um, some pre-installed stuff like 100% HD games, HTC HUD, Need for Speed Shift, Sprint Mobile, um, Wallet, Radio, Sprint Zone, Sprint Hotspot. You do a quick video. You do have NASCAR feature on there as well too. You have HTC stuff such as HTC Hub, HTC Likes. Those you're gonna need a sense account to connect to those particular features, and you can sort by let's open up again. You can sort by star yet frequent, and then you have anything you've downloaded from the Android market. So that is the HTC Evo View 4G tablet. Now it's it's a really interesting tablet here. Well, actually, um, we'll do one more quick thing. We'll open up the web browser here. I have it currently on 3G, but you can do uh, 4G on this. And, and inside here in the building I'm in, the 4G radio doesn't connect very well, but you can, um, but you can, uh, when I'm outside, you connect the 4G and the 4G works pretty well. And you have the same pinch to zoom features and stuff like that too that you would come to expect now on most modern browsers. But uh, so again, this is the Evo View 4G. It's a, it's a really good tablet. It's really unique in, with the with the pen with the pen pen input. That's really useful for taking notes and um, different things. You could definitely bring it to a class or a lecture, and you definitely have an advantage of using it there. You do have the video chat. You have access to the Android market, especially especially since it's a gingerbread device. You can use a lot of those Android uh, 2.3 applications that are designed for this. It's probably going to work a little bit better for you while the honeycomb uh, market needs to get a little bit bigger there. But um, this isn't going to be everybody's cup of tea, but I actually find this to be a nifty little tablet here. Definitely for, like I said, the note taking and just some small things here and there. And the, and the video watching as well too. I have to give it a thumbs up. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com reminding you, subscribe to our YouTube page. Follow us on Twitter. Become a fan of our Facebook fan page. Check out our written review. The link to that and all of our social media is in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.